It's my miscellany where we pretty much separate musical fact from musical fiction. Put the lies straight, quite frankly, and tell the stories and the truth behind the trivia. Today's miscellany. On this day in 1959, the plane carrying Buddy Holly crashed, cutting short the life of one of music's greatest ever talents. And today's musical miscellany is about the Buddy Holly song, Peggy Sue. If you knew Peggy Sue, then you know why I feel now, blue Buddy about Peggy. wrote the song about his niece, Cindy Lou. Hey, hey you there, Cindy Lou? Oh, However, the cricket's drummer Jerry Allison uh, was dating his then future wife Peggy Sue Geron uh, and asked if Buddy would change the title as a favour to him. Do you think it was a little trouble at Mill at the time? Listen, she'd really appreciate it, so if you could change the name. So they did. So when the band recorded the song, Jerry had so much trouble keeping the beat, uh, the engineer told him, listen, if you don't get this right in the next take, we're going to change the name back to Cindy Lou. And shortly before he died, Buddy Holly recorded a sequel to the song, uh, which you probably know, called Peggy Sue Got Married. She's the one I've been told Well, she's wearing a band of gold Peggy Sue Got Married not long ago Now, the song was recorded by Buddy in his New York apartment with just an acoustic guitar, uh, with the rest of the instruments being overdubbed after Buddy's death. Now, in real life, Peggy Sue went on to divorce Jerry, remarry, and became California's first registered female plumber. Did you know that? She still lives in California to, the, to this day. Well, still plums a bit too. If you have a piece of trivia you'd like to share with me, or if there's any questions you want me to answer, uh, please do get in touch, mygoldmusic.com forward slash breakfast. <laughs>